What is up, fellas? JPS Delivers here. Hopefully all is well so far. Um, we are about three games in to the NBA playoffs. And, uh, well, 3-0. and uh, Four games for these other teams, I guess, you know, when you're playing with, what, eight different matchups and stuff. Uh, 16 teams, eight different matchups. In the first round, you're going to have some teams play, I think, what, shit, I mean, ha yeah, we're technically, like, set up for the fifth game, you know, played fifth uh, in line since four other series are uh, down to two and two so far. And uh, Memphis, I called that right, Memphis uh, wins that series when Blake Griffin's basically your best scorer on a team. L.A. couldn't get shit done. There you go, Steph Curry. Nearly a triple-double with four steals as well. That's fucking sick. Um, San Antonio and Phoenix. A win for Phoenix at home. Uh, started off the series 0-2. Now uh, just getting that for th uh, game three win with Zion with a huge game right there. Um, not that good of a game by the Spurs by any means. But at the same time, again, um, we don't have any Paul George here in the first round. So we're just relying on Nurkic and Andrew Wiggins. And then there you go, Sacramento, ball Sacramento, started off 0-2. Damian Lillard still balling out, but then Harden and company, uh, John Wall, Don Chunas, Thomas Bryant, Sabonis. I mean, look at Sabonis, though. For a guy rated as well as he is, uh, he probably should be rated higher. 23 years old, should be more than 82 overall. But now they're 2-2. Two two. I picked Sacramento to be the team out of the West, and thank God... Nothing bad happened, uh, you know, league going down 0-3 or anything like that after starting 0-2. Minnesota might get upset. Kyle Kuzma and the Oklahoma City Thunder seem to be doing pretty well. Luka just with a sick-ass triple-double. Again, I love these playoff stats. 44 points. Then you got our team right here. Game 3 winning by 1 at home. Porzingis, 31 points. A game high, I believe. DeAndre Aiden right there. 3 steals, a double-double. Um... Clay Thompson just not shooting well. One for seven on threes. They're most likely going to lose that game. And then Jimmy Butler. I picked the Pistons, I believe, to win this series. Jimmy Butler with a good game. And a game high is Russ's 28, as it's going to be a Bucks one to tie it in game five. Then we got Kevin Durant and the Crafters with Kyle Lowry setting up for a nice game four victory to tie it at two and two Giannis. For this Magic team, 29 points, 11 rebounds, 6 assists. I only shot 15 times. I always talk about these superstars needing to shoot. But finally, the Bulls started 3-0. started three and, and then you finally see a win. A big game by Kevin Love and Chris Paul. Especially Chris Paul. 33 points, 13 assists. But Buddy Heald, Marcus Gasol. I mean, a really impressive shooting performance. But this Sixers team... Appears like they're on their way to getting knocked out. Um, we'll just have to see. Also, two injury report. Right now, we are looking at uh, D'Angelo getting back in about a week or two. And honestly, starting off 0-3 kind of helps uh, everything out. To see, I mean, could we make a playoff run? I, I, I don't know. I just don't see it. But, you know, yes, no, maybe so. We'll just have to see what the case is. Um, but right now, just... One to two weeks, he's going to be out for the duration of that injury. Left knee tendonitis. I know had a couple players that were injured and stuff. So, um, but unfortunately with this injury compared to the other ones, um, he's just going to have to be out for at least another week. So we'll just have to get that started. Let's go ahead, get that kicked off, and uh, we'll cut on over to the uh, gameplay. Next, the Knicks taking on the Wizards. For the Knicks, they took care of home in Game 3 and look to take control of the series tonight. The fans are eager for another big win. Wizards, Knicks, will there be an upset in Round 1? It's all coming up next. It's game four of this Eastern Conference quarterfinal series. Down three zip. It's a survival contest, no doubt. Will the series end here tonight? Thanks for tuning in to the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. 
Alongside Doris Burke and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan. And on the sidelines, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. So a look at the starters for the Wizards. We've got Spencer Dinwiddie, Paul Millsap out there with DeAndre Ayton. Then it's Thompson, and it's Hardaway, and it's small forward. And for New York, Allen is out there with Porzingis. Then there's Harris. Then it's Will Barton, and it's Ananobi in at the three spot. So off the tip, it's Washington's ball. Dinwiddie is surveying the floor. Fires for three. The shot by Thompson, no good. Here's Harris. Lands soft on the front of the rim and drops. And Washington has possession. They need to bounce back from Wednesday's loss. Well, I, I felt like they were never on the same page defensively in that one. Gave up way too many easy shots. And Greg, you cannot allow your opponent to shoot that high a percentage. That is going to get you beat night after night. And good that time. Uh, he's still filling out that frame, but the Greyhound physique of Porzingis well suited to transition play. Dinwiddie gets to Millsap. A shot that time, not on target. Barton with some nice D. Boy, that's 0 for 3 in the early going. Just a little out of sync. Harris' his shot is good. Okay, Jared Allen, we see you making that look for a big man. That's a pretty pass. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Well, I had a chance to catch up with Scott Brooks. I asked him if it's possible to maintain any belief that they can win this series, and he said, definitely. We know the odds are against us. The Wizards need to get a shot off here. No good with the triple. The Knicks leading by seven. On and Obi, good. Porzingis can't hit. I'll tell you, it has not been this guy's best night, but the teammates have been there to pick up the slack. Love it. And it's blocked. Boy, what a nightmare quarter for this guy. He's playing right into the hands of the defense at this point. Here's Allen, and denied. He sends it right off the glass. In the corner, Hardaway with it. the glass on the way up. Hardaway has got his second bucket of the night. And so it's Barton bringing it up for New York. Four-point game. Dinwiddie against Barton. Dinwiddie with the bucket. Now here's Dinwiddie. It's deflected. They recover it. New York shooting well right out of the gates here at around 50%. And it's Allen with the jam. Well, this guy has got tremendous length and hops. Jared Allen makes it easy. Lynn against Dinwiddie. Pass to Thompson. Dinwiddie, the bounce pass. Passes to Thompson. The Wizards with another miss. I'll tell you, you hate to pin this on one person, but his inefficiencies at the offensive end are holding this. Okay, Kelly on Linux getting up high for that rejection. At seven feet, that length comes in handy. The Knicks leading by 14. Here's Harris. Yes. And a nice assist from Lynn. Lynn's got three assists tonight. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Now here's White. Eight-second difference between the shot clock and the game. Augustine from outside. Offensive rebound. Olenek. And that one's drained from the low block. Olenek's got his second basket of the night. You know this, Kevin. Uh, Olenek has a terrific motor. He's always been a high-energy guy who makes things happen. Locked up there for Allen. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. That gives him a double-double in this one. Ten points and ten rebounds. Olenek giving the defense no time to react. Quick catch and shoot. Jared Allen has been on display for New York. Between his points and his rebounds, he was a star for him in that quarter. Back to the action after this word. 
and we welcome you back to game four on 2K Sports. And a comfortable margin for the next year, guys. What we saw in that first quarter, uh, they won their matchups defensively. I think across the board, a number of guys who've done a great job guarding multiple positions. Taking a look at the Wizards. D.J. Augustine out there with White. Then it's Kelly Olynyk. Then it's Robinson. And it's Millsap in at the power forward position. You gotta love his hustle, leaving the defense no time to react. The finish and transition, nice and easy. Lynn kicks to Bertans. Pascal, the pass to Bertans. And the three off target. Wizards trail by 12. It's stolen by Bertans. Here's Tice and the powerful one-handed slam. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. At the end of the day, though, it's two points. Don't hang your heads. Let's get refocused and play with more patience. Well, not exactly one of those big, burly power forwards, right? He depends on his leaping ability more than those guys, and it serves him just fine, Kev. Now here is Harris. He's got eight. Rebound by Olenek. Boy, he really wanted that shot, trying to make the defense pay. Two of five in the field here in the second quarter, shooting 40%. Here's Barton. The baseline jumper goes down. Barton's got his second best. And even with the big lead, he remains focused on the task at hand. That is the competitiveness he brings to the table. Every night you're going to get great effort from him. Now here's Millsap. He's got six, six to shoot. From outside the arc, the rebound by Marjanovic. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. And there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul, shot misses. He'll be shooting two. New York is shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. OG and Anobi's checked in for the Knicks. And a new group getting ready for the Wizards. Andre Eaton's checked in for Kelly Olynyk. Tim Hardaway Jr. comes in for Glenn Robinson III. Clay Thompson, he's checked in for Derek White. And Spencer Dinwiddie subbed in for Augustine. Now here's Lynn. Spencer Dinwiddie missing his last shot. Well, Kevin, how about the Harvard grad, Jeremy Lynn? How far has this guy come from nearly out of the NBA at one point to viable NBA starter? Incredible. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And they have yet to miss a shot from the line here this quarter. Dinwiddie against Barton. And stolen by Barton. And they're running. Here's Ananobi. Here's Marjanovic. And that one is good with the extra effort on the glass. Marjanovic has got four points now in the quarter. Dinwiddie against Barton. Thompson kicks to Aiton. To stop the run. After two misses to start the game, he's on the board with that shot made. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Martin passes to Tice. Goes up on the wing. Another shot. It's Barton on the wing. Misses the wing jet. And this is exactly what you have to do to stop him. That was a tremendous contest, forcing the miss. From downtown, Dinwiddie's shot is off. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Barton against Milson. Barton passes to Marjanovic. Whistle blows, basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play the fact that he really was unfazed by that scoreless first quarter and now you can see him getting into a rhythm. Zinkis, he's checked in for New York. And a change for the Wizards. Kelly Olenek checked in for Paul Milson. Now here's Thompson. Back to Dinwiddie. The putback, great positioning on the putback. Well, we're talking about a big time rebounder. DeAndre Ayton's timing, excellent. Here's Persingas. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And it took them a while to find their touch at the line, but they have been red hot here in the second quarter. The Knicks have been coming through at the charity strip. They've made seven of their eight attempts. Now here is Hardaway. He has five. 
Here's the pass to Aiton. Lynn against Hardaway. From deep three point range, Knicks with the rebound. Up top, Lynn. Guarded by Hardaway. Here's Persingas. And the Knicks miss again. Listen, simply put, he's got to finish that. It's not like the defender was right on top of him. Count it good. Six points for DeAndre Ayton. He's been a marksman this period. Uh, the shot mechanics finally in sync. Martin from outside. The offensive rebound. Janovic. And he banks in the lane. He has not missed a shot in this quarter. They've tried running different things in him, but he's been unstoppable. And the foul on Will Barton. That'll be his second foul of the game. Dinwiddie outside. Teardrop shot, and he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. You know, when Spencer Dinwiddie is attacking, he gets these kinds of calls. Simple as that. And both free throws, good for Dinwiddie. And so it's Barton bringing it up for the New York Knicks. The lead is 15. Lynn kicks to Barton. Hit the shot. Here's Marjanovic. Good for the fifth time in five shots. He remains perfect. Well, this is what he does. Find ways to make his presence felt. And this time on the offensive glass. How about the hustle on display there? That kind of effort will earn respect from everyone. Wizards making a switch here. Zubats has checked in. Outside for Zingas. Ananobi passes to Lynn. Back to Ananobi. Some nice passing by New York here. They get the rebound. And that one's good. Marjanovic. Marjanovic has got 13 points now in the quarter. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Goes up, and the dunk by Pushing. How he's getting himself to the line this quarter. If he keeps it up, it'll end up creating some foul problems on the other side, and that can always help a team's call. Zubats, that's good. Boy, phenomenal decision making from the young guard Spencer Dinwiddie. Nicely done, putting it on time and on target. Now here's Lynn. The wide open look here for Perzingis. Yes, and a nice assist from Lynn. Lynn's got five assists tonight. Dinwiddie outside passes it to Thompson. It's in and hoping this is the start of a new trend. Two for eight now from the field. Well, Clay Thompson showing you right now. He's got all three levels on the offensive end. In the mid-range, yes, sir. Now flying high and throwing it down with the one hand. Woo, one of his favorite moves right there, guys. And the Wizards with possession. The Knicks making the shot. And it's off from three-point range. And an OB in the corner. Here's Persingas. Basket good. Persingas has got 11 here in this quarter alone. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. A nice shot by Lynn. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. Washington shooting 48% on their attempts here in quarter number two. Lynn against Dinwiddie. Shoots the three. It's rebounded by New York. Persingas has got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. You can see the pressure. Recipe for disaster. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Now here is Augustine. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. And it's White missing. And, and, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that position. Wow, unconscious. Has he been this quarter? They're riding that hot hand. Here is Augustine. Olenek with it. Now guarded by Porzingis. Here's Olenek. Shot clock at six. The Wizards shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. 
And the first one drops. And working Kevin themselves to the line here in the second. A nice way to get your offense going. I like how Kelly Olynyk finds a number of different ways to contribute to his team. A selfless player who always does what's asked of him. Now here's Lynn. He's got six. A three from Porzingis. Rebound by Olynyk. 35 seconds left now here in the second. Augustine with it. 23 seconds left here in the second. The feed now to White. Porzingis with the block. Bertans in the post. He's against Olenek. Bertans shot is good. When you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. Hey, Greg, to me, this has simply stated been a complete lack of defensive attention and focus all go in it. Here's Persingas. Here's Allen. That ball is good for another field goal. His sixth. He is six for nine on the stat sheet. Do you like Allen to keep his concentration? Refuses to let the defense out muscle or outwork him. Here's Barton. They get it again. Second chance shot. Can't capitalize inside. Yeah, the offense scuffling a bit to start this second half. Only one for the first five. Well, they'll be happy with that look, even though it didn't fall. I think expect them to go back to it, because that's the kind of shot this offense is designed to generate. Second half of basketball, just over a minute played so far. Dinwiddie against Barton. They grab their own miss. Millsap. Ice yet again. Persistence pays off as they finally hit a shot. Millsap's got eight points. Well, their first basket in four tries. Can that trigger a little bit of good shooting here? We'll find out. Uh, unwilling to let up. Even for a moment, that's his killer instinct just fanning the flame. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the moment and play the right way. This guy is a pick-your-poison kind of player. Very hard defensively to cover all your bases with him. Well, known for being a terrific passer, he shows you right there. Case in point. Dinwiddie against Barton. Here's Thompson. That one off the back iron and out. What a masterful job on the defensive end. Did everything possible to alter that shot. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Here's Dinwiddie. Out of bounds. New York takes possession. No clue where that pass was going. That is a brutal turnover. So Allen will bring it up for the Knicks. Millsap with the steal. Dinwiddie with it. Now guarded by Barton. Kicks it out to Dinwiddie. Porzingis against Millsap. Six on the shot clock. Back to Dinwiddie. Here's Ayton. They shoot again, and they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Boy, this guy has been terrific. The rest of the team, however, struggling. The Knicks making a switch here. Tice has checked in. Free throw drops for Ayton. I tell you, this guy already a double-double threat nightly, and DeAndre Ayton's ceiling is still high. Now, he's got to go ahead and reach those expectations by putting in the work. And Tice gets it to go. Tice has got seven. You simply must play better defense than that. This guy is too good from distance. Right side, Millsap. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. Dinwiddie's got his seventh assist in the game. Harris looking it over. Barton outside. Allen left side. And Dinwiddie over to help. For three, Harris. New York now working with the new shot clock. And Tice gets it to go. And the D getting out work there on the putback. Can't let that happen. 
Uh, Greg, you have got to put a body on somebody. We talk about it ad nauseum, but you've got to be disciplined with the box outs. And he comes up with the deuce. Well, in today's NBA, you've got to be able to play in pick and roll and part away doing work right there. Barton against Thompson. Barton drives in. Ananobi passes to Barton. New York moving it around. Over Millsap. Allen trying to break free. Here's Tice. Banked in off the glass. Tice has got seven points for the quarter. And boy, he can see blood in the water attacking a somewhat helpless team right now. Well, you love that there's no let up in how they're playing. They want to dominate every aspect, including second chance points. They're scoring boatloads of buckets. It's raining buckets from inside. Tipped away. And the foul on Will Barton. That's his fourth foul of the contest. Uh, picked up his fourth foul. Maybe have to scale back his aggressiveness with plenty of time left in this one. So it's the Wizards now. Now Dinwiddie. Outside Hardaway. Lock at six. Jacks up a three. The rebound by Marjanovic. Marjanovic has got 10 rebounds here tonight. So accurate. Pass goal, the pass to Tice. And Boba Marjanovic picks up the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. I'm not sure what he thought he could get away with there. Pretty clear over the back. Yeah, easy call for the officials. Sometimes I think you think you can reach over without making contact, but that was not one of those times. Here's what Washington's going with right now. Derek White's checked in for Hardaway, and D.J. Augustine subbed in for Dinwiddie. Pass to Pasco. From the wing, good D by Thompson. A contested mid-range shot can't be what they were looking for there. Well, especially with that defensive player in the area. You know he's going to find a way to get into the shooter and make him uncomfortable. Barton against Aiton. Barton, no luck. Well, this is the night you look at your teammates and tap them on the back and say, good job, because for him, he's been struggling all night. And I'll tell you, they're going to need more from this guy if they're going to cut into this deficit. And Forbes kicks to Marjanovic. Barton against White. Back to Marjanovic. Let's it fly from 18. And that's good for two. Marjanovic has got 15 points. Yeah, he, he's shown terrific control of the pace and the rhythm of this offense. And I think they count on him for that, Greg. He is a tone setter, extremely unselfish. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. He just cannot miss. Eight up, eight in. Wallace. Well, defensively, to me, you've got to do a better job communicating once the screen comes. Outside, White. The pass to Thompson. Shoots a fader. Again, the Wizards score. How about the elevation from Clay Thompson? This jumper is sweet and it's pure, and it doesn't matter if the defender is there or not. Pass to Pasco. Inside and stolen by Eaton. And now White pushing it up, and no one back to stop him. Good. White's got four points now in the quarter. One easy look. Don't allow the defense to set up. What a beautiful fast break opportunity, and the finish pretty good. Barton, no luck. Here's Augustine bringing it up now for Washington. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. For Washington, they have gone 9 of 10 from the line, so making the most of their chances. And that one falls for White. This is as good as it gets from the charity strike here in the second. Robert Bertans checks in for New York. Jeremy Lin comes in for Brent Forbes. The Wizards also changing it up. Ivica Zubats has checked in for DeAndre Ayton. And Glenn Robinson the third is up in for Thompson. Here's White. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by White.
New York's gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Augustine against Land. Over to the left wing. Bergens finds Lynn. Millsap with the double team. Bergens, the basket good off the assist from Lynn. Lynn's got his eighth assist here tonight. Well, we know this. Jeremy Lynn knows how to run an offense. His ability to find the open man on Canny. Here's White. Kept alive by Washington. The momentum continues to go their way. Pretty much the story of the game. For Washington, they have been getting it done at the line. 10 for 12. No good on the free throw. Good on the second free throw. Here is Lynn. He's got six. Martin surveying the floor. Offensive rebound. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. The tenacity on the interior, just battling, bringing that effort and will for second chance points. Washington has gone three of seven from three point range here in quarter number three. And here is Zubats. Throws up the baseline. Robinson, that's good. Robinson's got his second basket of the game. The Knicks shooting so far, very efficient. All around, about 55%. There's Tennis, the pass to Barton. Alrighty, it's pretty much coming to an end. I mean, this game's clearly over. Shooting up bullshit shots I normally wouldn't shoot. Um, so that's it. That's a sweep. In the first fucking round, the last thing I anticipated. I mean, we're up 3-0. It's a home game in the garden. Lots of blocks going on in that game. Boban just being Boban. I mean, hell, we saw Boban the other day against the Denver Nuggets get 31 points and 17 rebounds. You just hope that a guy like that, you can just play him 20 minutes every playoff game. I mean, what's 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 the harm in that one? You know, you saw how, you know, Jokic isn't that athletic. He's not going to be one of those centers that takes advantage of the, you know, the uh, lack of mobility by Boban, and there you go. But I'm looking forward to it. I'm not going to play any games until D. Russ is back. I'm going to take that gamble. We'll just have to see what happens. Um, most likely, I think we're going to be playing um, the the Fox next round, Milwaukee Fox. Looking forward to it. Is there a chance we can make a run? I mean, part of me is like, oh man, we shouldn't win this early in the franchise, but at the same time, could be a lot of stuff that happens. But we'll just have to see in the next video. As always, fellas, take care. Be grateful about everything that comes to you, and see you next time.